let's talk about replacement boxes from Funko. We all have gotten boxes delivered to us that are that are damaged, and we were like, what can we do about it? Well, there's a couple things you can do about it, but before we get into what can be done and what I received from Funko, let's just say it's not good, all happens in this video. But, I want you to do something like hit a like button, and go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you can get more Funko news. You get concerts, you get all types of fun stuff, and I hope you guys are enjoying the ride. Anyway, so, you order from Funko, you get a damaged box. We all have. We all have got a damaged box. Apparently now with SDCC stuff, it's been worse, but we've all got damaged boxes, so we contact Funko and go, hey, this is how I got it, and they go, okay, well, we don't have product, we'll give you a refund, partial refund. If they have the product and you can prove there's enough damage to it, maybe they'll exchange them. Um, I've had that happen, I've had refunds, I've had exchanges. But this time was something I ordered a while ago, last year. Last year I ordered this. So, anybody remember the lovely Remy fiasco? Wasn't the first time this has happened, not the last time. This was the Remy Pop. The Diamond 3 South account Remy Pop. Came with that bag right there. See, right behind me. That bag. Boom. I was one of the lucky ones that got this on drop day. Ended up getting it. I was excited as I got my first bag and pop. I love my Disney stuff. I love this pop. And I got it. <clears throat> Damaged. Box. Kind of weird. Um, the box was crushed. I think I have a video. I might have to go post that video as a short. I'll have to go find that video. Um, bag on top of the pop, pop in no type of sorter or protector or anything like that, and it was damaged to the box. To the box, and I had damage to slight tears, slight dents, but I've seen worse. There was a whole lot worse that was going on, but I was like, "There's enough damage that I moved to contact phone." Like, hey, it was open when I, you know, it was also open, so you can tell it was, definitely had some pressure push against it. It was popped open when I got it. It was not good. So I contacted Funko. Funko goes, okay, well, um, apparently many of us have been complaining. So what they did is um, gave us an option. We can get the $15 refund. Price of the pop. Which, whatever. Or we'll send you a new box. I was like, oh, I'll take the new box option. They're like, we don't know when it's going to ship. We don't know when we're going to get them. But we'll just send them out. I was like, okay, cool. Whatever. So a year went by. I was like, man, it's been a while since I've heard anything about the about the box or the pop or anything. So I contacted them. They're like, okay, well, we thought we were going to get the boxes. We're not going to get the boxes. And um, we are just going to issue you a refund. So they sent me back my $15. I'm looking for an email from them um, just recently, though. So anyway, so I said, okay, cool, whatever. don't really care. Um... It is what it is. It's a fifteen dollars call today, and then a little over a week ago, I got an email from UPS saying, "Hey, you got a package coming from Funko that weighs two point four ounces." I'm like, "What is coming from Funko that weighs two point four ounces?" Not a clue. And must have been no drugs. No, it was an empty box. Literally, what it was. I was like, "Fine." That's why I thought it was gonna be. It is what it is. Blah blah blah. I don't know what what it's for. Only other box I put a replacement for was the Bambi. Bambi came damaged too. Anyway, so I um I uh I'm about to email them back today though because I'm kind of still not happy about their response and I'll tell you their response in a minute. I'm reading the email as I'm talking to you guys and it just makes me aggravated, super aggravated. So last week. It said package delivered. I said, okay, fine, I'll go get it. You'll see what it is. And this is what I get. A bubble on look. So I'm like, well, this is definitely a box. This is all it could be in the paperwork, staying at Funko's, suing me for slander, something like that. But it's a box. So I get home, I open it, and it is the box. Now, 
My first concern was this was this is a bubble envelope. There is there was no cardboard packing. This is not shipping like you would ship a you would never ship an 8x10 in this. You would never ship anything that could easily bend in these. Ever. Anything that you know that people don't want bent, you would never ship on in these. Period. These are not made for stuff that bends easily that isn't meant to be bent. Like, honestly, it's a good bubble envelope, though. I'll give it that much. It's a really quality bubble envelope. But, if it's going to bend, it's going to bend. Oh, oh, I smashed it too hard. I'm sorry. That's it. This is going to bend. No matter what I stick in here, it's going to bend. Why? There's no cardboard backing. This should have been. Sh this box should have been shipped in a cardboard shipper that had some type of support. Let me just show you what I got. So this is the box. I have had this box just laying around on a table since I opened it. And from a distance, looks fine. Now look at that giant crease right here. Huge crease. Okay. Now look at this one. Well, there's a little bend right here on this flap. I can hide that. Okay. Okay. Um, there was another one that I saw on her earlier. I just gotta find it again. Giant crease down here. Like there was three major creases. So I'm like, okay, what was the point of shipping this? Because this box is in worse condition than the box I complained that was damaged that you were sending me a new box. For what? Like, you spent, I don't know how much you're shipping to ship this box to me. And you probably shipped a bunch of these out to people. And it came in worse condition because you didn't take the extra effort. You don't even, you could have took cardboard like some kind of anything to kind of keep this a little bit protected you could have shipped this in an 8x10 mailer that would have been more protected like there's cardboard mailers that probably would have even cost you less to ship and it would have protected this a lot more than that stupid bubble envelope and now I have this huge box that's nothing but trash because it has a huge giant crease right there these little ones on the flaps, whatever. I can hide them. It's not that big of a deal. But this one just proves you didn't care. So, um, I contacted them after I got there and listened to the response that I got from Funko. Hello. I completely understand the disappointment, especially since the long wait. Do you now? Um, we hope the replacement arrives and we hope your replacement arrives in much better condition. However, Please be aware that we are unable to guarantee the replacement box will be in mint or pristine condition and are unable to send out additional replacements if it does not arrive in such condition. I'm sorry, but we are unable to provide additional replacements. So you spent money shipping me a box that is heavily damaged because you guys didn't want to spend the extra time to make sure replacement boxes that you know, you clearly know, your fans care about. The box condition. You clearly know, you sell protectors. You send out replacement boxes. You're clearly aware that your fans care about the box condition and you don't want to spend the extra time and effort to send in something that isn't a bubble envelope that bends easily. So when I got it, I opened it. I was like, oh, it's my replacement box. Great. And then I saw it and I was like, mm, wrong. Bad. So, this is my story to you. Just don't do it. Don't even do it or the replacement box. Just take the refund and call it a day. If they offer a replacement box, with my experience, from now on, I'll just take the refund. Because this, this is BS. Absolute. Like, you, you could have spent these things should always be shipped like you would ship an autograph 8x10. Any type, anything, anything, anything that doesn't need that should never be shipped. Again, should not ship these in bubble envelopes. Anyway.
that's all I got for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I I hate I hate rant videos, but that one annoyed me, and I took a few days to you know process things. And every time I read this email, I kind of want to respond back. I'm like, I waited what a year for this box, and you shipped in a cheap bubble on look that gets that's easily bendable and damaged. I'm pretty sure if I email them that, they're like, oh, we'll take it into consideration. But I might just do it just to see what they, see what they say. But, yeah. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, until next time, take it easy. Have a good one.